uh yes good evening good evening everyone uh this side dr abhijit and i hope my voice is clear yeah we toshi good evening beta sushantika good evening shah manish good evening beta good evening i hope the audio and visuals are perfectly fine dimple d good evening beta today i am going to discuss the anatomy of the pancreas today i will be focusing on the anatomy of the pancreas yes i hope just give me a thumbs up beta in the chat box if the audio and visuals are perfectly fine dimple d okay she says okay everything is fine so let's start with the anatomy of the pancreas guys right let's start with the anatomy of the pancreas yes we do she okay perfect perfect chal so what all topics that are uh, like we are going to discuss it is the type size and shape of the pancreas the length width thickness weight of the pancreas the parts of the pancreas along with the relations okay when i say parts we are mainly going to focus like on the head neck body and tail parts that are the four parts of the pancreas and the anterior and posterior relations okay anterior and posterior relations after that we are going to uh, see the ducts of the pancreas okay and its openings in the duodenum arteries uh, the veins okay the lymphatic drainage and the nerve supply and after that a little bit of clinical correlation that i will be focusing in the parts itself so yeah <clears throat> so yes uh, peer good evening so let us start with the type okay so everyone remember okay now can anyone tell me in the chat box can anyone tell me in the chat box pancreas is a type of which gland pancreas is a type of which gland so before that yeah i'm waiting for your answers in the chat box meanwhile remember beta it is a soft okay it is a soft lobulated gland okay it is a soft lobulated gland it is a soft lobulated gland right it is consisting of both okay it is yes very good peer david it is a type of mixed gland it is endo and exo both very good temple the very good very good beta so yes it is consisting of both parts okay so yes we have the exocrine part beta we have the exocrine part and we have the endocrine part endocrine part so you are aware that the exocrine part beta the exocrine part it produces a secretion uh, usman sethi good evening beta good evening beta so remember the exocrine part it produces a secretion that contains yes that contains enzymes which is capable of hydrolyzing which is capable of hydrolyzing or capable of breaking proteins fats and carbohydrates proteins fats and carbohydrates right so yes <clears throat> the exocrine part already we know that the pancreas is a mixed type of a gland right it contains both exocrine and endocrine part the exocrine part it produces a secretion that contains enzymes which is capable of hydrolyzing or breaking down the uh, the proteins fats and carbohydrates okay the endocrine part beta remember the endocrine part it contains pancreatic ions also called as the ions of langerhans yes ions of langerhans the rs creations uh, good evening beta sai krishna good evening welcome to the session on the anatomy of the pancreas yes now these 
pancreatic ileus they basically produces hormones okay they produces hormones and you already know we have different different types of cells over here can anyone tell me in the chat box which different type of cells are present over here yes can anyone tell me in the chat box which different types of cells are present usman insulin to hai hi baki what all different types of cells will you see over here yeah <clears throat> chal you already know beta we have yes the alpha cells okay the alpha cells ha alpha beta gamma theek hai हाँ अल्फा बीटा गामा होगा अल्फा सेल्स देन वी हैव बीटा सेल्स सात्विक गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग बेटा देन वी हैव द डेल्टा सेल्स ओके देन वी हैव द डेल्टा सेल्स यस देन वी हैव द डेल्टा सेल्स now can anyone tell me alpha cells will release which hormone beta can anyone tell me in the chat box the alpha cells of the pancreas will release which hormone so i am waiting for your answers yes the alpha cells will release which hormone yes and we have the pp cells yes so the alpha cells yeah the alpha cells will release hmm yeah the alpha cells will release anyone yes ravinder gochar uh, yes it is right beta alpha beta hmm now everyone knows that the alpha cells they are approximately 20% and they will release a hormone that is called as glucagon yes they will release a hormone that is called as glucagon the beta cells they are 68% beta they are 68% and they will release insulin beta insulin will be released by the beta cells yes ravinder very good very good beta the delta cells they will release they are approximately 10% beta and they will release a hormone that is called as somatostatin somatostatin and you already know the somatostatin basically it inhibits it inhibits the release of glucagon and insulin it inhibits the release of glucagon and insulin right apart from that we have the pp cells so now what is the full form of pp beta remember the pp is pancreatic polypeptide cells pancreatic polypeptide cells okay so these release a hormone that is called as the pancreatic polypeptide hormone okay now what is the function of this hormone beta so you should remember that this hormone yes this hormone it stimulates it stimulates secretion of it stimulates the secretion of gastric and intestinal enzymes ye secrete nahi karta beta it only stimulates triggers okay the secretion of gastric and intestinal enzymes yes intestinal enzymes yes and it inhibits the intestinal mobility it inhibits the intestinal mobility so that is the function of the pancreatic polypeptide hormone that is released by the endocrine part i hope this part is clear beta just give me a thumbs up if you all have written and understood that the pancreas is a type of a mixed gland the exocrine and the endocrine part the endocrine part contains alpha beta delta and pp cells and the corresponding hormones which are related to it and yeah dimple d says yes sir we understood very good say to usman beta very good very good beta chal perfect so shantika very good beta perfect chal
Sai Krishna, good, good, Peter, good, good. Now coming on to the site and the shape. Now, Peter, my question is, my question is, okay. You will comment on the site with the location of the pancreas. You already know the nine uh, regions of the abdomen. Now, while watching this particular diagram, okay, you will tell me or comment in the section uh, that what is the site where the pancreas is located, okay? So, before that, you should remember the shape. Yes. Shape. Yes. Exocrine wala part, Ravinder, I had written. It produces a secretion. Okay, just my enzymes are there, and these enzymes are like uh, which are capable of hydrolyzing the protein, fats, and carbohydrates. Yes, umbilical. No, uh, beta. Mm -hmm. Okay, this picture has been okay. Okay, this picture has been like, you know, really, uh, yeah. Ah. Hmm. This picture is, I will, I will just correct the picture, no need to worry. Yeah, the shape beta, remember, it is elongated. Okay, it is elongated and you already know it is retroperitoneal gland. It is retro peritoneal gland the retro peritoneal gland okay now can anyone tell me in the chat box what do you mean by the term retro peritoneal retro peritoneal ka matlab kya hota hai? now the side beta it is the left hypochondrium don't look at this image i will just show you another image for this particular site so remember it is the left hypochondrium plus we have posterior part of epigastrium the posterior part of the epigastrium okay now remember that the pancreas basically it extends to the left okay it the pancreas it yes uh, it extends to the left and slightly upwards beta it extends to the left and slightly upwards hmm, slightly upwards across the posterior abdominal wall okay posterior abdominal wall yes from concavity of the duodenum from concavity of the duodenum to hilum of spleen to to hilum of spleen you already know i have already told you before also that in the loops of the duodenum okay for example this is the duodenum this is the duodenum and you already know the Pancreas, it is lying in the loops of the duodenum. Okay, the pancreas is lying uh, in the loops of the duodenum. That's why we call it as the romance of the duodenum. And this pancreas is extending, okay, to the hilum of the spleen. Okay, we have already discussed the spleen yesterday. So basically, it is extending from the loop of the duodenum towards the left side and left side pick up is it is spleen or spleen ka bhi sa part hai? it is the hilum part to which this pancreas the tail of the pancreas is uh you can say ending over there okay i hope this part is clear beta just give me a thumbs up if this part is clear so now coming on to the size beta yes just give me a thumbs up in the chat box if this part is clear now coming on to the size beta yes it is length So remember the length is 12 to 15 centimeters. Sushantika, Satvik, Dimple, Divya, Sethi Usman, Veer Doshi, very good. 12 to 15 centimeter. The breadth. It is 3 to 4 
centimeter thickness it is 1.52 2 centimeter and remember the weight yes the weight it is 80 to 90 grams the weight it is 80 to 90 grams so the length is 12 to 15 centimeter breadth 3 to 4 centimeter thickness 1.5 to 2 centimeter and the weight it is 80 to 90 grams so coming on to the next part that is the parts of the pancreas and you already know that the parts are basically divided into the head okay we have the head and the uncinate process uncinate process okay then we have the neck of the pancreas the neck of the pancreas then we have the body body of the pancreas and then we have the tail of the pancreas okay then we have the tail of the pancreas so this is the head beta so this hole is the head portion okay this is the head okay now this is something this is a process okay towards the head end the lower part of the head and towards the left side we have the uncinate process okay uncinate process then we have the neck of the pancreas then we have the body of the pancreas and finally we have the tail of the pancreas okay so we have the head okay yeah the head part is like divided into superior and the inferior part right the superior part and the inferior part yeah the inferior part towards the left end it's basically the uncinate process then we have the neck we have the body and we have the tail and you already know beta please draw this uh that it is all present in the loop of the duodenum it, it is all present in yeah the duodenum right so I hope it is like way clear to you guys that it is somewhat like this, right? So yes, this is a C-shaped duodenum, okay, which is <clears throat> in the cavity where this part is present, right? So now we are going to discuss each part in detail and along with each part we are going to discuss, yes, we are going to discuss yeah, the relations one by one, the relations one by one, okay? <clears throat> now it tell me head you already know the head of the pancreas right so okay let us let us just try to uh, draw this so that it's way clear to you now i'll draw a very short diagram because i just have to discuss the head part and the relations okay the head part and the relations So you already know that this is the duodenum this is the duodenum right and duodenum is having four parts okay we have the first part of the duodenum the second part the third part of the duodenum and the fourth part of the duodenum and in the <clears throat> duodenal loop okay in the duodenal loop you already know that <clears throat> we have this yeah we have this pancreas okay we have this pancreas and yeah it is somewhat extending like this so yes now till here beta okay or i can say till here till here it is the head of the duodenum and this is something which is called as the uncinate process uncinate process now when i say head beta so head it is uh remember beta the head it is expanded right part of the duodenum it is the expanded right part right it is the expanded right part okay now remember beta it is having it is a flat part okay it is flattened 
it is flattened part of the pancreas and remember this flattened part okay it contains yeah it contains now if it is flat beta agar koi bhi cheez flat hai beta to uski kitni surface hogi ab suppose ye flat hai to uski kitni surface hogi anterior surface or posterior surface so we will have two surface beta okay we will have two surfaces and we will have three borders we will have two surfaces and we will have three borders दो सरफेस बेटा फ्लैट है एक आगे की तरफ होगी वन विल बी इन द फ्रंट वी हैव द एंटीरियर सरफेस ओके वी हैव द एंटीरियर सरफेस एंटीरियर सरफेस एंड वी विल हैव द पोस्टीरियर सरफेस पोस्टीरियर सरफेस नाउ कैन एनी वन टेल मी इन द चैट बॉक्स what will be the borders what will be the borders okay what will be the borders can anyone tell me in the chat box what will be the borders yes jaldi bataiye answer hmm yes you are right beta dekho ek border upar ki taraf hoga ओके okay, एक बॉर्डर ऊपर की तरफ होगा सुपीरियर बॉर्डर एक बॉर्डर इट विल बी टुवर्ड्स द सेकंड पार्ट दैट विल बी द राइट बॉर्डर ओके और आई कैन से द लेटरल बॉर्डर और एक बॉर्डर होगा नीचे की तरफ वी हैव द इंफीरियर बॉर्डर ओके सो ऑटोमेटिकली वी हैव थ्री बॉर्डर्स ऑफ द हेड ऑफ द पेंट्रियास वी हैव या द सुपीरियर बॉर्डर सुपीरियर बॉर्डर यस very good very good sethi usman it is right we have the right lateral border okay we have the right lateral border and we have the inferior border we have the inferior border now coming on to the relations beta coming on to the relations now you use your brain beta aur mujhe batao superior border okay superior border of the head of the pancreas it is related to which structure superior border of the head of the pancreas it is related to which structure upar wala border relations batao we are now going to talk about the relations beta isi mein relations bhi ho jayenge fatafat relations batao jaldi se <coughs> so superior border it is related to which part of the duodenum beta batao hmm blindly listening to the lecture kindly answer yes the superior border it is related to the first part of duodenum upar ki taraf first part of duodenum hi to hai राइट लेटरल बॉर्डर में देखोगे वी हैव द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ ट्यूटनम कृति वेरी गुड बेटा इट इज द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द ट्यूटनम फटाफट आंसर दो यस यस गुड इवनिंग फन मोन सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ ड्यूटनम द राइट लेटरल बॉर्डर वी हैव द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द ड्यूटनम एंड द इंफीरियर बॉर्डर बेटा द इंफीरियर बॉर्डर रिमेंबर वी हैव द थर्ड देखो इंफीरियर नीचे की तरफ हो गया नीचे वी हैव द थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ द ड्यूटनम राइट लेटरल साइड पर कौन सा बॉर्डर है ये कौन सा ड्यूटनम का पार्ट है इट इज द सेकंड पार्ट सो इंफीरियर बॉर्डर वी हैव द थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ ड्यूटनम वेरी गुड यस राइट उस्मान वेरी गुड इट इज द थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ द ड्यूटनम एंड एंटीरियर सरफेस बेटा आगे की तरफ ओके आगे की तरफ यू शुड रिमेंबर द हेड इट इज हैविंग ट्रांसफर्स कोलॉन ओके ट्रांसफर्स कोलॉन प्लस ट्रांसफर्स मीजो कोलॉन ट्रांसफर्स मीजो कोलॉन एंड पोस्टीरियरली बेटा पोस्टीरियरली नाउ बिहाइंड द हेड बेटा यू आर गोइंग टू टेल मी बिहाइंड द हेड क्या क्या मिलेगा 
अब बिहाइंड द हेड बेटा यू विल हैव द बाइल डक्ट व्हेन आई से बाइल डक्ट इट इज द कॉमन बाइल डक्ट प्लस लेफ्ट रीनल वेन एंड वी हैव द इंफीरियर वेना कवर we have the inferior vena cava i will just try to yeah i will just try to show you beta okay now look at this diagram beta you are going to tell me the labelings now you are going to tell me the labelings now beta fata fat se bata do what is this duct is duct ka naam batao jaldi se which i am marking with a which i am marking with a when this duct combines with this duct there is formation of this duct which i am marking with b चलो बताओ जल्दी से बताओ हाँ सिटी उस्मान वेरी गुड हाँ पहला डिंपल इट इज द सिस्टिक डक्ट वेरी गुड फन मोड सिस्टिक डक्ट है ओके okay, अब बी वाला बता दो बी क्या है व्हाट इज बी बेटा हाँ सिस्टिक डक्ट बिल्कुल सही है व्हाट इज बी बेटा इट इज द हाँ उस्मान ठीक है बी वाला क्या हो जाएगा हाँ ठीक है हम्म हाँ हाँ कॉमन हिपैटिक डक्ट से वो ज्वाइन करने के बाद इट विल फॉर्म अ डक्ट विच इज कॉल्ड एज द कॉमन बाइल डक्ट विच इज फॉर्म विच इज द कॉमन बाइल डक्ट सो यू कैन सी द कॉमन बाइल डक्ट ओके द कॉमन बाइल डक्ट इट इज जस्ट बिहाइंड इट ओके अपार्ट फ्रॉम डार्ट बेटा यू कैन ऑल्सो सी या You can also see this inferior vena cava. You can also see. Okay, I'm just trying to portray it from the back side. So yes, we have the inferior vena cava. Okay, and we have the left renal vein. Okay, we have the left renal vein, right? The left renal vein. Okay, perfect, perfect, beta. So yes. बेटा ये एब्डोमेन को इस तरीके से बाहर निकाल के और फिर हम पीछे से देख रहे हैं ठीक है इट इज जस्ट लाइक दिस पर्टिकुलर व्यू ओके तो यस नाउ कमिंग ऑन टू द अनसिनेट प्रोसेस बेटा नाउ व्हेन आई से अनसिनेट प्रोसेस चलो फटाफट से बता दो अनसिनेट प्रोसेस के आगे क्या प्रेजेंट होगा और पीछे क्या प्रेजेंट होगा चलो जस्ट टेल मी विच विल बी लाइक प्रेजेंट इन फ्रंट Yeah, which structure will be present in front and which will be at the back? Hmm. चलो ठीक है. हाँ. So we have the unsinate process. Yeah, the anteriorly the unsinate process, beta. Anteriorly, आगे की तरफ we have the superior mesenteric artery and the superior mesenteric vein, and posteriorly, beta, we have the aorta. Posteriorly, we have the aorta. Now, to understand this, beta, let us draw our own diagram. to understand this let us let us just draw our own diagram and not try to focus okay yeah we'll draw our own diagram and we'll try to focus over here i will just try to draw this picture okay so that it is clear to everyone <clears throat> okay yeah i'll just draw it over here only so that it is clear now let us let us just draw it one diagram and all the relations will be like crystal clear to everyone okay so you already know we have this yeah the first part of the duodenum then we have the second part of the duodenum the third part of the duodenum and the fourth part of the duodenum somewhat like this we have this picture okay we have uh, the first part 
the second part of the duodenum, the third part of the duodenum, and the fourth part of the duodenum. So yes, you. <clears throat> Ah, and this is the duodenal jejunal flexion. Okay, so it is like curving down. So yeah, we have the duodenal jejunal flexion. We have the duodenal jejunal flexion. Okay. Now remember, beta, we have the pancreas over here. So let us let us just draw the pancreas over here. Yeah. Now, suppose this is the pancreas beta. Suppose this is the pancreas and the portion which I am highlighting over here. That is the uncinate process. Okay, this is, let us understand this. This is the uncinate process, right? So, yeah. So, this you already know that this is the uncinate process. So, I'll just mark it. Now, <clears throat> now beta. behind this particular pancreas, what is passing? It is the iota. So you should be remember, uh, you should be knowing that this is, for example, this is the iota, which I'm just trying to draw it. Hmm. Now, this is the abdominal iota, which is like passing behind, right? Which is passing behind. And just try to show it behind the uncinate process. And it is like this bit. It is like this. So, this is the iota. So, yes, this is the iota. So if I ask you what is passing behind the uncinate process, it is the iota. Okay, it is the iota. Shri Vardhan, Namaste Beta, Namaste Beta. So, <clears throat> yeah, this is the iota. Yes. Now, hmm. iota ke saath, okay, which vein will be there in relation with iota? Which vein will be there in relation with iota, Beta? Just tell me in the chat box, which vein will be there in... Relation with iota? Yeah. <clears throat> yes, you already know we have this. Batao, batao, jaldi se. What is the name of this vein beta which I am trying to draw? Yes. Nay, iota ke saath beta. Iota ke saath. Ah. Yes, Usman, very good. It is the inferior vena cava. Beta, we saath ki baat chal rahi hai na? So I'm just not, yeah, piche ki taraf beta agar dekhoge. So yes, we have this inferior vena cava. Hmm. So yes. So I've already told you that this, suppose this is the head part beta. This is the head part. Yeah. Hmm. Now suppose this is the head part and you are very well aware that behind the head we have the in, uh, yeah, inferior vena cava. Behind the head we are having the inferior vena cava. Because some organs are left as soon as I finish that I will start with the lower limb or thorax. I will see to it what uh, next I can teach. Yeah. So yeah, this is the inferior vena cava beta just behind this. Okay. Plus, we have the bile duct, right? We have the bile duct. Yeah. Okay. Now, I hope this particular picture as of now is clear to everyone. I hope this particular picture as of now is clear to everyone. Yes. Now, in front of the uncinate process, beta. When I say in front of the uncinate process, yes. Ah, dimple says, okay, in front of the uncinate process,
Hmm. Yeah, we have an artery which is going in front of the nonfinite process to the pancreas. And this artery it is called as the superior mesenteric artery. And one vein which is accompanying it in front of the alcinate process, it is called as the superior mesenteric vein. Yes, yes, guys. So we have the superior mesenteric artery and the superior mesenteric vein. So yes, these two are there. We have the superior mesenteric artery and the superior mesenteric vein, which are passing in front of this uncinate process. Yes, which are passing in front of the uncinate process. Yes, I hope this is clear to everyone. I hope the uncinate process anteriorly what is present and posteriorly what is present is clear. I hope uncinate process anteriorly what is present and posteriorly what is present is clear to each and every one. Just give me a thumbs up in the chat box. Uncinate process for us. So head me when I have to tell you that transverse colon or transverse mesocolon, pichi ki taraf bind up hoga, left renal vein and inferior vena cava. Head ki pichi ki taraf inferior vena cava to mene dikhatiya. You can also show, yes, dimple di garima satvik, very good, very good, beta. Yes. <clears throat> You can also show the bile duct, okay? But beta wo posteriorly present. Okay, bile duct, yaad rakna, it is posteriorly present, okay? So, yes, it is like posteriorly present. Yeah. So, remember, beta, this is the bile duct, which is like posteriorly present. It is the common bile duct. Common bile duct, which is posteriorly present. You can draw this as well. Okay. <clears throat> you can draw this as well. So, yes. Alhadita, beta, please join the Telegram group for further updates, right? Yeah. Hmm. Shall we? Head wala part be clear, okay? Head wala part be clear, okay? Bile duct, okay? Inferior vena kava di kadi hai. Or renal vein, uh, aplo ko pata hai. So, yes. Now coming on to, yeah, now coming on to the neck part. Okay, so I will be discussing the neck part right now. Yeah, now suppose this is the, yeah, the neck of the pancreas, the neck of the pancreas. Now, <clears throat> remember, beta, neck also I'm trying to discuss uh, like over here only the neck. Now, beta neck, it is the constricted part. Okay, it is the constricted part. Okay, and remember, it is between the body. Okay, it is between the body and the head. Okay, it is at junction. Okay, it is at junction between head and body of pancreas between head and body of pancreas and now beta this neck has two borders and two surfaces this neck has two borders okay this neck has two borders and two surfaces now, can anyone tell me the two borders, beta? Neck ke do border honge. Neck ke do border honge. Yes. Obviously, we have the superior border. We have the superior border. And the inferior border. The inferior border. And. We have the two surfaces. Yes, dimple, very good. Very good dimple. Yes, we have the two surfaces beta over here. Yes, it is. Ha, huh. Kriti, very good. Shivardhan, very good. What are the two surfaces beta? Can anyone tell me? What are the two surfaces beta? Yeah. <clears throat> it is the anterior surface and posterior surface. Anterior surface and posterior surface right anterior surface and posterior surface now beta up use your brains and tell me use your brains and tell me 
कि सुपीरियर बॉर्डर सुपीरियर बॉर्डर पे कौन सा रिलेशन देखने को मिलेगा बेटा चलो जल्दी से बताओ पिक्चर देखो नेक की नेक ये वाला रीजन हो क्या नेक इज दिस पर्टिकुलर रीजन ओके विच आई एम हाईलाइटिंग ओके नेक इज दिस Now tell me if this is the neck part, beta. If this is the neck part, superiorly what is present, beta? Ha. Upper ki taraf kya present hai, beta? Diagram dekhe batao. Upper ki taraf kya present hai? Ha. Upper ki taraf kya dekh raha hai? Which part of duodenum is present, beta? Which part of du? Yes, she was done very good. Superiorly what is present? so if we talk about the relations over here yeah if we talk about the relations ah huh, superior border basically we have yeah the first part of duodenum first part of duodenum yeah the first part of the duodenum inferiorly we have the transverse mesocolon the transverse mesocolon fun mode very good yes very good very good it is the transverse mesocolon right anteriorly beta aage ki taraf we have the pylorus of the stomach okay we have the pylorus of stomach stomach ka ye wala part beta jo hum logo ne pehle bhi banaya tha i have already told you we have this ending part of the stomach okay That is called as the pylorus. ये जो pylorus होता है, that is coming in front of this neck. Okay, this is coming in front of this neck. So yes, we have the pylorus part. Okay, we have the pylorus part of the stomach. Okay, and posteriorly we have the formation of portal vein. Okay, we have the formation of portal vein. हजार बार बता चुका हूँ. Behind the neck of the pancreas, the splenic vein and the splenic vein and the superior mesenteric vein, okay, they will combine with each other and will lead to the formation of portal vein. And they will lead to the formation of portal vein. So anteriorly, if we just try to look at this particular picture over here, yes. <clears throat> so you can very well see, beta, he anteriorly. we have the pylorus of the stomach okay which is coming in front of the neck part right posteriorly we have this formation of the portal vein okay this portal vein okay that is just forming behind the neck of the pancreas behind the neck of the pancreas right so i hope this particular picture is clear to everyone i hope this is clear to everyone beta ek thumbs up de do jaldi se chat box mein yeah <clears throat> जल्दी से एक थम्स अप दे दो चार्ट बॉक्स में सो आई हैव डिस्कस द नेक पार्ट ओवर हियर ओनली द नेक द पार्ट्स ऑफ द नेक एंड द रिलेशन ऑफ द नेक ऑफ द पेनक्रियास यस डिम्पल टी गरेमा वेरी गुड वेरी गुड पिटा साई कृष्णा वेरी गुड वेरी गुड नो बेटा देर इज समथिंग क्लिनिकल को रिलेशन इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके now beta if there is cancer now if there is cancer of okay if there is cancer of head okay of pancreas okay so what it can lead to it can affect it can affect the structures it can affect the structure satvik sushantika very good beta it can affect the structures related to head and neck related to head and neck this is something that you have to like keep in mind beta so this is an important slide i would say the clinical part okay the clinical part which i'm discussing right now over here remember beta if there is a uh, cancer so we will have like more cells beta right so the duodenal concavity will widen okay so there is widening of duodenal concavity okay there will be widening of the duodenal concavity and remember beta 
it appears on the x-ray it appears on x-ray obviously baat hai beta jab head part okay jab head part ka okay for example this is the head part aur head part ka jab cancer hoga what will happen it will enlarge to duodenum ki jo ye cavities hoti hain ओके okay, ये जो कनकेविटी है इट विल लाइक मोर प्रोलिफरेट राइट इट विल बी वाइडेंड ओके ड्यू टू दीज ड्यू टू द कैंसर ऑफ द हेड एंड द हेड पार्ट ऑफ द पेनक्रियास राइट सो यस आफ्टर दैट इट इज इफ देयर विल बी मोर सेल्स ओके कैंसर सेल्स व्हाट दे विल डू दे विल कंप्रेस दे विल बी कंप्रेशन ऑफ कॉमन बाइंड अप there will be compression of the common bile duct okay and compression because beta common bile duct is just a structure which is like embedding into the head of the pancreas and if there is a um, pancreatic cancer so this common bile duct can be compressed okay and if it is compressed beta it can lead to obstructive jaundice it can lead to obstructive jaundice as well right now you already know we have the pylorus of the stomach that is an anterior relation beta so there will be compression of there will be compression of pyloro duodenal junction okay there will be compression of pyloro duodenal junction and remember beta it will lead to if there is compression it will lead to pyloric obstruction it will lead to pyloric obstruction because it is passing in front of the head okay it is passing in front of the neck of the pancreas okay and if there is cancer over there so this junction will get obstructed okay narrow constriction will be there apart from that beta remember that we have inferior vena cava passing behind so if there is compression of inferior vena cava it will result in edema it will result in edema of lower limbs it will result in edema of the lower limbs okay and lastly you already know behind the neck of the pancreas we have the formation of the portal vein so remember beta compression of portal vein compression of portal vein okay it will re lead to ascites it will lead to ascites now when i say ascites beta it is fluid in the peritoneal cavity it will be the fluid in the peritoneal cavity so these are important clinical correlations beta that you have to remember we have the widening of the duodenal concavity we have obstructive jaundice pyloric obstruction edema of the lower limbs ascites and this all results from cancer of the head and the neck of pancreas okay and obviously these all are affected because they are in anterior and posterior relations around the head and the neck anatomy samajhna isliye zaruri hai taki ye sab cheeze samajh aaye ki hum bol rahe obstructive jaundice hoga kyun hoga cancer pancreas mein head uh, pancreas pancreatic head cancer mein it is just because it is like embedded into the head of the pancreas right so jisko relations pata hai तो उसका जो मेन पर्पस है द क्लिनिकली ओरिएंटेड पर्पस डेट आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड बेटा सो आई होप दिस इज क्लियर टू ईच एंड एवरीवन जस्ट कि मिया थम्स अप बेटा इफ द हेड नेक इज क्लियर टू एवरीवन यस जस्ट कि मिया थम्स अप सो दैट आई कैन स्टार्ट विद द बॉडी ऑफ द पेनक्रियास सो दैट आई कैन स्टार्ट विद द बॉडी ऑफ द पेनक्रियास चल डिम्पल जी वेरी गुड बेटा गरिमा वेरी गुड सात्विक वेरी गुड इनफीरियर मैंने कहा का कंप्रेशन होगा बेटा तो ऑब्वियसली बात है ब्लड फ्लो ऊपर तक नहीं जा पाएगा ब्लड पूरा नीचे कलेक्ट हो जाएगा तो पूरा का पूरा पैर जो है वो सूज जाएगा सो देर विल बी एडिमा इन द लोअर लिम्स साई कृष्णा सात्विक वेरी गुड वेरी गुड बेटा सो बॉडी ऑफ द पेनक्रियास बेटा अगेन कमिंग टू दिस पर्टिकुलर डायग्राम ओके अगेन कमिंग टू दिस पर्टिकुलर डायग्राम नाउ यू ऑलरेडी नो द एबडोमिनल आयोटा बेसिकली इट कंटेन्स okay we have this artery and this is called as celiac trunk ye celiac trunk hai from the celiac trunk basically we have the tortuous artery that is supplying to the spleen that is supplying to the spleen giving five to seven hilar branches okay 
giving five to seven hilar branches to the spleen and you already know for example this is the spleen part okay this is the spleen part so yes so if this is the spleen so this is the splenic artery beta this is the spleen okay my splenic lick there hmm this is the spleen right and you already know this is the splenic artery which is running just above this splenic artery right now on the sides of the spleen beta you will have yeah the kidney kidney and on the top of the kidney you will have one gland and that gland it is called as the supra renal gland okay we have the yes we have this we have drawn with the same color so i'll just change the color code for it we have the supra renal gland hmm. so this is the supra renal gland okay so this is something like this this is something like this yes okay and towards the kidney we have this colon wala part yeah and this is called as the splenic flexure of colon okay splenic flexure of colon kyunki spleen wala part aa jata hai uspe theek hai so now beta coming on to the body part now what to understand the body beta i'm just taking a cross section from the body part i'm just cutting it in from middle and i will just try to show you how does it look like okay so for example you already know that suppose this is the pancreas and this is the body part and i'm just cutting it from between okay the body part and I'm, i will try to show you how does it look like so it is somewhat like this beta it is a triangular uh, i would say yeah a triangular cross section i will get okay a triangular cross section i will get where you will find something which is called as the superior border okay we have the superior border okay yes we have the inferior border we have the inferior border now this surface hole it is called as the anterior surface beta anterior surface this is anterior border this border is coming in front it is the anterior border between the anterior and the inferior border beta ye surface niche ki taraf hai so we have this inferior surface inferior surface and between the superior border and the inferior border we have the posterior surface posterior surface now now beta body of the pancreas body of the pancreas it is divided into yes it is divided into three borders and three surface okay it is divided into three borders and three surfaces so remember the three borders beta the three borders we have superior border that is on the top superior then we have the inferior border and we have the anterior border okay now coming on to the surface you already know we have the anterior surface yes we have the posterior surface beta and we will have the inferior surface now beta 
सुपीरियर बॉर्डर नाउ कमिंग ऑन टू द डायग्राम बेटा डायग्राम से ही हम लोग देखेंगे सुपीरियर बॉर्डर के रिलेशन क्या है सुपीरियर बॉर्डर के रिलेशन क्या है सो यस बेटा देखो ये बॉडी के ऊपर क्या प्रेजेंट है नाउ गाइस यूज योर ब्रेन एंड टेल मी नाउ दिस इज द बॉडी पार्ट बेटा बॉडी का ये सुपीरियर बॉर्डर है सुपीरियर बॉर्डर के ऊपर क्या प्रेजेंट है वॉट इज प्रेजेंट वी हैव सीलियक ट्रंक वी हैव द स्प्लेनिक आर्टरी एंड देर इज वन मोर आर्टरी विच इज कमिंग फ्रॉम हियर एंड इट इज कॉल्ड एज द कॉमन हिपैटिक आर्टरी कॉमन हिपैटिक आर्टरी दिस इज जस्ट अब सुपीरियर बॉर्डर ऑफ द बॉडी ऑफ द पेनिक्रिया okay celiac trunk splenic artery and common hepatic artery so yes if we talk about the relations yeah one by one relations so you should know that the superior border it is related to celiac trunk splenic artery splenic artery and yes I'm writing it over here. It is common hepatic artery. Common hepatic artery. Okay. C H A. What is common hepatic artery? These are branches of the celiac trunk only, which is just above it. Common hepatic artery. Now, my question to you, people, beta. Inferiorly, what is present? Body ke niche, beta. Look. Body ke niche. Can anyone tell me what is present at the inferior border? Just look at the diagram, beta. Nothing new. नीचे की तरफ देखो क्या प्रेजेंट है ये कौन सी वेसल्स दिख रही है तुम्हें व्हाट आर दीज टू वेसल्स बेटा जस्ट टेल मी इन द चैट बॉक्स व्हाट आर दीज टू वेसल्स बेटा व्हिच यू कैन सी ओवर हियर इंफीरियर बॉर्डर पे यही प्रेजेंट होंगी यस अब उस प्लेनिक वाला तो ठीक है यस वेरी गुड टेम्पल डी इट इज द सुपीरियर मिसेंट्रिक आर्टरी एंड सुपीरियर मिसेंट्रिक वेन सुपीरियर मिसेंट्रिक वेसल्स आर प्रेजेंट so inferiorly beta yes inferiorly we have the superior mesenteric artery and the superior mesenteric vein so simple anteriorly kuch nahi aapko dhyan rakhna hai we have the transverse mesocolon transverse mesocolon right now if we come to the anterior surface beta anterior surface par you will have the stomach kyunki stomach ke piche hi hai sab kuch stomach and the lesser sac the stomach and the lesser sac okay now posterior surface acha posterior surface beta mujhe batane ki bhi zarurat nahi hai dekho posterior surface pe kya hai kidney hai piche ki taraf okay we have the suprarenal glands we have the aorta which is going behind so remember beta we have पोस्टीरियर सरफेस बहुत अच्छे से ध्यान रखना कि उसमें बहुत सारी चीजें हैं वी हैव द आयोटा यस एवरी वन इज राइट वी हैव द ओरिजिन ऑफ सुपीरियर मिसेंट्रिक आर्टरी ओके वी हैव द ओरिजिन ऑफ सुपीरियर मिसेंट्रिक आर्टरी आयोटा से ही आती है ना बेटा दैट इज जस्ट बिहाइंड द बॉडी ऑफ द पेनक्रियास वी हैव द लेफ्ट किडनी लेफ्ट किडनी we have the left suprarenal gland left suprarenal gland okay and we also have the splenic vein we also have the splenic vein okay and inferior surface beta just one thing that you have to remember it is the duodeno jejunal flexure ये मुझे बताने की भी जरूरत नहीं है डायग्राम इट इज वेरी मच क्लियर इट इज द ड्यूटनो जेशनल फ्लेक्शर और इट इज ऑल्सो द्लेनिक फ्लेक्शर ऑफ कोलॉन प्लेनिक फ्लेक्शर ऑफ कोलॉन आई होप दिस इज क्लियर टू एवरी वन बेटा जस्ट कि मैं थम्सअप बेटा जस्ट कि मैं थम्सअप इफ इट इज क्लियर तो आप लोगों को ये पता होना चाहिए कि बॉडी के ऊपर क्या क्या प्रेजेंट है विहार था आयोटा ठीक है विहार था आयोटा आयोटा मतलब जो सीलियक ट्रंक है स्प्रेनिक आर्टरी कॉमन हिपैटिक आर्टरी इनफीलियर सुपीरियर मिसेंट्रिक आर्टरी एंड वेन ओके सो ये सिंपल साइक गरिमा वेरी गुड वेरी गुड बेटा नाउ कमिंग ऑन टू द टेल ऑफ द पेंट्रियास बेटा टेल इज एक्चुअली देखो बेटा ये कौन सा स्ट्रक्चर है दिस इज ओके लेट मी यूज ब्लैक पेन हाँ दिस इज द स्प्लीन बेटा राइट एंड यू कैन सी द टेल इट इज एंडिंग एट द हाइलम ऑफ द स्प्लीन सो रिमेंबर बेटा द टेल इट इज द नैरो It is the narrow left 
end of the gland. It is the narrow left end of the gland, right? Which lies in the lino-renal ligament. मैंने बताया था. Now can anyone tell me in the chat box? Lino-renal ligament extends from what to what? Lino-renal ligament. It extends from which part to which part? It lies in the. And I want this answer from everyone. Lino-renal ligament. Lino renal ligament extends from which part to which part? Yes. Remember, beta, it is the mobile part. Okay, the tail is mobile. And this tail, it is containing the largest number. It is containing the largest number of eyes of Langerhans. Okay. So yes, or if relations ki baat ki jaye, to beta it is related to relations ki agar puchha jaye question hai relations pe kya hai? So yes, it is related to hilum of the spleen. It is related to the hilum of the spleen, right? Now coming on to the next part, the ducts of the pancreas. Now you guys are going to tell me what is this A? What is this A? What is this B? What is this C? What is this D? Chal, fata fata se ABCD mark karke patao. Jaldi se fata fata se chat box me left kidney to screen. Very good fun mode. Very good. Fata fata se jaldi se pata do ABCD. Ha, Lino Renal. Very good. सिस्टिक डक वाला ठीक है ये गोल ब्लैडर हो गया ना बेटा चल ये तो गोल ब्लैडर हो गया गोल ब्लैडर का सिस्टिक डक ठीक है राइट हेपैटिक डक लेफ्ट हेपैटिक डक हा सी तो ठीक है बी क्या हो जाएगा व्हाट इज बी व्हाट इज बी बेटा बी इज कॉमन बाइल डक चलो ये भी मैंने मान लिया इट इज कॉमन बाइल डक बी क्या है वॉट इज बी बी नहीं बता रहा है कोई बी बताइए जल्दी से हा कॉमन हिपैटिक डक बी इज द कॉमन हिपैटिक डक बी इट इज द कॉमन हिपैटिक डक यस सो डक्स ऑफ द पेंट्रियास आर बेसिकली दीज आर टू इन नंबर यू ऑलरेडी नो बेटा एक तो होता है ये मेजर डक ये अगर आपको दिख रहा होगा और एक होता है ये माइनर डक ओके वी हैव द मेजर एट द माइनर डक द या one and the two which i will be marking over here so the first one beta it is the main pancreatic duct it is the main pancreatic duct and it is also called as the main pancreatic duct of wilson okay and we have the minor pancreatic duct the main pancreatic duct or we can say the accessory pancreatic duct okay accessory pancreatic duct accessory extra jisko bolte hai beta accessory pancreatic duct it is also called as the duct of duct of centrony centrony now beta the main pancreatic duct beta Now, which part of the duodenum it is? You already know. This is the second part of the duodenum. This is the second part of the duodenum. So the main pancreatic duct basically it emerges from. Okay, it emerges from the head. Okay, it emerges from the head of the pancreas. This is the main pancreatic duct, and beta it unites with this common bile duct. Common bile duct ke saath unite karega. Okay. which will open into the second part of the duodenum it will form a dilatation which is called as the ampulla of water okay so you can see that over here yes every everyone can see in this particular picture as well so yeah the main duct basically it emerges from head emerges from the head part okay and unites with common bile duct okay and then opens in second part of duodenum second part of the duodenum 
yes forming a dilatation and that dilatation it is called a uh, ampulla of water forming a dilatation that is called as the ampulla of water yes it is also called as the ampulla of water right it's also called as the ampulla of water so yes accessory pancreatic duct beta एक्सेसरी पेनक्रियाटिक डक्ट अगर बेटा ध्यान से देखोगे इस इमेज में अगर ध्यान से देखोगे तो ये नीचे से आ रही है बेटा ये मेन पेनक्रियाटिक डक के भी नीचे से आ रही है बट इट इज असेंडिंग अपवर्ड एंड गोइंग टू गोइंग जस्ट अब द मेन पेनक्रियाटिक डक्ट तो एक्सेसरी पेनक्रियाटिक डक्ट मेन पेनक्रियाटिक डक्ट के भी नीचे से आती है इट इज कमिंग फ्रॉम द लोअर पार्ट ऑफ द हेड ओके इट इमर्जेस फ्रॉम द लोअर पार्ट ओके इट इज अमॉल या इट इज अ स्मॉल डक्ट and it emerges from the lower part of the head so remember it is small duct which drains which drains uncinate process which drains the uncinate process and lower part of head lower part of head okay it runs upwards in front of the main pancreatic duct and opens separately that is called as the minor duodenal papilla okay so the first one basically it opens into the major duodenal papilla major duodenal papilla and we have the minor duodenal papilla minor duodenal papilla so already you know the distance between them it is like 1.5 to 2 cm only okay between the minor and the major duodenal papilla it is 1.5 to 2 cm only so i hope the ducts of the pancreas are clear to everyone beta i hope the ducts of the pancreas are clear to everyone so just give me a thumbs up beta so yes now coming on to the arterial supply of the pancreas coming on to the ha beta duodenal papilla maine aapko bataya na we have the major duodenal papilla and the minor duodenal papilla major duodenal papilla jo hai it opens uh, it second part of the duodenum wo bhi niche ki taraf okay towards the lower most portion and minor duodenal papilla jo hai it will be like 1.5 to 2 cm just above the major one okay and the minor duodenal papilla basically uh, it is um, the what we say <clears throat> the accessory pancreatic duct which will open into the minor duodenal papilla and the accessory pancreatic duct it is coming from where it is draining the uncinate process and the lower part of the head of the pancreas chalo dimple the very good very good beta very good chalo arterial supply fatafat se arteries bata do kon kon si hongi fatafat se arteries bata do jaldi se bata do kon kon si arteries hongi मुझे बताने की भी जरूरत नहीं है बेटा सो इफ यू ऑलरेडी नो सपोज दिस इज द पेनक्रियास सपोज दिस इज द पेनक्रियास यस यू गाइस ऑलरेडी नो द आर्टरीज यस सुपीरियर इंफीरियर पेनक्रियाटिक और ड्यूनल आर्टरीज वेरी गुड यू ऑलरेडी नो दैट वी हैव दिस सीलिया ट्रंक ओके दिस इज द सीलिया ट्रंक and from the celiac trunk we have this tortuous long artery uh, first branch this is called as the splenic artery and from the splenic artery dorsally we the spleen is getting supplied from the three arteries yes we ha have these three arteries anyone would like to label it yes this is the splenic artery splenic artery which is giving three branches the first one beta the first one it is the dorsal pancreatic artery dorsal pancreatic artery then we have arteria pancreatica magna magna ka matlab hota hai large सबसे लार्जेस्ट ब्रांच होगी एंड वन टूवर्ड्स द टेल एंड बेटा दैट इज कॉल्ड एज द आर्टीरिया कॉडे कॉडे का मतलब क्या होता है टेल पेनक्रियाटिका आर्टीरिया कॉडे पेनक्रियाटिका 
so remember beta they these three arteries basically they supply the body they supply the body and the last one it supplies the tail of pancreas it supplies the body and the tail of the pancreas now coming on to the head portion beta you already know from the celiac trunk we have yeah common hepatic artery which will divide into hepatic artery proper and we have this gastroduodenal artery which will divide into posterior branch and anterior branch so remember beta that from the celiac trunk we have this common hepatic artery which divides into hepatic artery proper and this is gastroduodenal artery gastroduodenal artery which will give off two branches okay yes very good dimple the though yes ha wo short forms milega chalo badhiya hai beta at least tumne reply to kiya hai chalo now these two branches beta these are anterior and posterior branches of superior pancreatico duodenal artery superior pancreatico duodenal artery okay and <clears throat> superior pancreatico duodenal artery it is a branch of gastro duodenal artery so it will have anterior branches and posterior branches now this is something which is coming from the foregut the celiac trunk the one which is coming from the yeah the one which is coming from the hind gut or uh, sorry mid gut it is you already know yes so ha uh, we have this superior mesenteric artery and superior mesenteric artery it is giving off yes ha uh, it is giving off two branches beta that you have to like remember okay it is giving off two branches remember these two branches are inferior pancreatico duodenal artery inferior pancreatico duodenal artery okay and it is anterior and posterior branch anterior and posterior branches anterior and posterior branches right so remember the inferior pancreatic duodenal artery it supplies the lower part of the head it supplies the lower part of head it supplies the lower part of the head okay that is again a question it supplies the lower part of the head yes <clears throat> and remember the superior pancreatic duodenal artery it supplies the upper part of the head okay it supplies the upper part of head inferior pancreatico will also supply to the uncinate process uncinate process i hope the arterial supply is clear to each and every one beta just give me a thumbs up beta if the arterial supply is clear to each and every one over there just give me a thumbs up if the arterial supply is clear to each and every one okay duct stand arterial supply done coming on to the veins of the pancreas even i no need to tell you satvik sai krishna dimple very good very good okay fun mode okay okay beta perfect perfect beta so beta you already know that this is the splenic vein this is the splenic vein this is the superior mesenteric vein they both combine to form the portal vein behind the neck of the pancreas so you are just seeing the posterior view okay behind the neck of the pancreas so you can very well see and this is the inferior mesenteric vein which is draining into this splenic vein which is draining into this splenic vein so you can see the portal vein it divides into the right branch and the left branch okay now yes. remember the venous drainage the venous drainage it is like the veins of the body okay the veins of the body you can see the veins of this body they are draining into which vein guys beta it is draining into the splenic vein okay it is draining into the splenic vein okay so veins of the body basically they drain into splenic vein 
and the veins of the head yeah very good very good yeah fun mode very good the veins of the head remember the veins of the head basically they drain into portal vein directly they drain into portal vein directly veins of the head and the neck they drain into the portal vein directly so that is about the head or uh, the veins i hope the venous drainage is clear to everyone now coming on to the lymphatic drainage beta so lymphatic drainage basically it follows the arteries okay it follows the arteries and remember it drains into okay it drains into the first one that we have to remember we have the pancreatico splenic lymph nodes splenic lymph nodes basically it it is around the splenic artery then we have the celiac lymph nodes you already know celiac lymph nodes are around the celiac trunk and the third one beta it is the superior yeah superior mesenteric lymph nodes superior mesenteric lymph nodes and remember it is around along the superior mesenteric artery it is along the superior mesenteric artery yes i hope this is clear to everyone i hope this is clear to everyone Hmm. Chalo, dimple, very good. Very good dimple. Coming on to the nerve supply beta. Coming on to the nerve supply beta. So basically we have sympathetic nerves. Sympathetic nerves. And we have para sympathetic nerves parasympathetic nerves so it is derived from uh, like yeah the vagus nerves both the vagus nerves the right and the left one okay and we have the celiac and superior mesenteric plexus superior mesenteric nerves are there plexus ka matlab kya hota hai network of nerves plexus ka matlab kya hota hai network of nerves so sympathetic nerve supply is from the celiac and the superior mesenteric plexus we are asked the parasympathetic supply it is from the vagus nerve so i hope uh, the picture is clear the nerve supply is clear the lymphatic drainage the venous drainage okay arterial supply multiple number of times these topics are discussed ducts of the pancreas okay the tail the relation of the tail the body the relations of the body of the pancreas the neck of the pancreas and all the clinical correlations all the clinical correlations i hope this is clear to everyone i hope this is clear to everyone apart from that we have discussed the uh, uh, the relations of the uncinate process neck and the head of the pancreas the parts of the pancreas the size the site the shape the type okay so i hope everything is clear to everyone just give me a thumbs up that today's topic is clear so dimple fun mode okay what about rest guys i hope the topic is clear to each and everyone so yes chill perfect garima sai krishna very good beta very very good beta very good perfect perfect chill let's end the session and tomorrow we'll study the anatomy of the liver anatomy of the liver okay